Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is uh, Job Willie 5 again. I'm just doing the uh, another review for the XPS 15 R2. Um, basically, on this review, I'm going to review the fan, and I'm also going to review the build design of this computer. Um, first of all, the fan. Very annoying. Um, I don't know what the heck is wrong with it. I don't know if it's a Dell thing, Nvidia thing, a chipset problem. I have no idea why this fan is the way it is. It's kind of like ADD, ADHD. Something, something's wrong with it. Because let's put it like this: if you are doing anything, let's say you're just multitasking, let's say you're just going on the internet. I just connected to Internet Explorer. Fan's gonna come on, which is fine, but then it's gonna go where, where, where? It's gonna go rev up and down up and down up and down and this thing isn't even hot the thing does not even get hot it just does that I don't know why it does it but it just freaking does it um I tried to download speed fan and all that kind of stuff to check it out really I'm not a big fan of all that kind of stuff so I'm just letting it run its course and if it gets to bother me I just turn on some music and it kind of drowns it out but anyways, I, I don't see it as kind of a big, big problem. But if I'm in class, I want it to shut up. Maybe I'll just go through the settings for the power and I'll turn it to passive cooling. Because obviously if I'm not doing anything on the computer besides multitasking on the web and probably typing a paper, I have no need to have the fan on. Because that thing is not running hot. There's no way that it is. Um, I wish I can... I wish I had a better camera so you can hear how this thing is. Um, let's see. Ah, yeah, you can probably, you know what? Let me, let me try, try to let you hear it. Let it up and down. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it was revving up and down, and that's all it freaking does is rev up and down. Up and down. It's just ridiculous. Uh, another thing with the build quality of it, like I said, it's a very nice computer. It's got nice grippy feet on the bottom of it that are kind of like built in. I mean, these things are pretty solid. Uh, there's not too much flex or anything. I mean, there's it's flex on the screen, but it's not too bad. Um, you know, I could put it inside the bag and you know go around with my little my little bag, my little green bag, uh, book bag, and uh, it'll be fine. I do like that this, this is on the back, um, as in it's got like a little lip right here. It's got the XPS, and whenever the thing goes to sleep, this thing goes on and off, on and off. Uh, the only thing is, can't really see the hard drive indicator whenever you're right here, unless I'm like, huh, what if the hard drive's working? Whatever, you know? Um, can't really see anything. Uh, any of these two, I'm not sure. Oh, that's the letting you know that the the battery's being charged or the battery's on. Um, that's a light indicator light for the hard drive and indicator light for the battery. Uh, Alright, so the build quality that I do not like about this. Um, everything, like I said, is really good. I've already reviewed that before. But this thing is very flimsy. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. It is, it like flexes. If I were to hold this side down, it flexes. And it flexes a lot. Um, and you can just see that it flexes. Like this whole side kind of like lifts up. Uh, which is just, this side does not. This side will not lift up. I mean, it lifts up the side. If you see, it lifts up the side. See what I mean? Um, if I lift it up, the whole entire back and the front's coming up. If I lift this side up, just the front's coming up. And I don't like that. I don't like that this front is like that. It's not lifting up there. Now it lifts up the back. But that's after a little bit of flex in this side, I'll flex up. Um, and the reason why I don't like that is because if you can hear that, this, it, it's, it must be like off-centered or something because this side does not do it. That's me. That's just my finger. That's my finger tapping onto it, and it's also causing this thing to kind of jiggle a little bit. It's it's 
these two sides. I don't know what the heck. It's, if, it's this side. I mean, it is. And that's just because it throws this one off balance a little bit. But, um, I mean, this thing's got some a lot of flex in it. I don't like that. And I also don't like whenever Dell sent this thing to me. I'm going to go ahead and close the lid. Whenever Dell sent this to me, there is a big gash up here. I don't know if you guys saw my first video or not. But there's a big gash in the front. It's not a gash as in something's going to harm the, the, the LCD or anything. And it's not a gash that, you know, I'm going to bitch and complain about, which I guess I should bitch and complain about. But anyways, it's just, it's, it's like... Did you guys even take care of packing this thing, or what the heck's going on? But I put the screen cover over it, if you guys seen that video also. Um, very nice little screen cover. Love the screen cover of it. And I'm just going to go ahead and open it. This thing comes back on fairly quickly. Um, obviously, SSD helps with that a lot. Um, it did come with a 15-month McAfee. Um, and I am going to just continue to use McAfee, even though I, McAfee isn't my first choice of a, um, I'm sorry, of a, uh, uh, antivirus program. It is free, so why not use it, right? Uh, basically, that's all I wanted to do in this video is just kind of show you the build quality, and like I said, the build quality is fairly, very good. It's just this whole side thing I don't like and also the, the scratch on the front of the the um the screen. So it's not well not the screen but the actual pan back panel of the screen. So again this has been Jolly Willy Five. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave comments, questions, concerns and I am out of here.